हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट वन लॉजिक ऑफ इंक्वायरी इन सोशल रिसर्च एंड आवर टॉपिक इज ऑब्जर्वेशन इन सोशल साइंसेस इट इज क्लियर दैट अनलाइक द ऑब्जर्वेशंस कंडक्टेड इन द नेचुरल साइंसेस that depend only on the senses of the observer the observations in social sciences need the participation of the observed while one, one can rely on the senses of, to see what is happening one needs to inquire from the actors as to what is the meaning of their acts for any explanation to take place let us take for example the utter bewilderment of a complete outsider would face it if taken to witness a cricket match the meaningless actions of adult men hitting a round object and running around for no practical purpose and worse thousand of spectators getting so emotionally charged at the sight of such meaningless acts would not appear reasonable to any outside and objective observer the observer may put forward the verdict of collective insanity if not made familiar with the meanings systems that per prompts the actions as well as a large amount of conceptual data as to what is the game why is it played what is the relationship between a game and national pride and so on and so forth so it is with every act of observation of society that we need to refer to more generalized concepts and also meaning systems of actors this is not to say that one relies only on explanations given by the actors but true explanation in the social sciences would then constructualize the observations the meanings and the actors frame of reference to a larger and more generalized system of concepts and relationships to try to get at a true meaning truth or explanation thus inductive data is conceptualized by a logical process or deduction social scientists have devised ways to make observation more meaningful or as it is put more scientific to understand this a little better we must go into the history of what constitutes data for the sociologist and anthropologist who have society and culture as their objects of study as is evident the nature of the data is itself sufficiently different from the data of natural sciences as whatever we observe is a construct like when we observe a cricket match the term game is construct and unless we use this construct to explain whatever we are seeing physically the entire observation would become meaningless thus as dan sperber has argued there is only one way to describe culture phenomena and that is by interpretation but even before we go into the problem of interpretation we must be clear about what it is that we are going to interpret in other words what is the nature of observation on which we rely as our base data to begin with 
सोशल साइंटिस्ट इंटरप्रेटेड डाटा और बेसिक ऑब्जर्वेशंस मेड बाय एनीवन इन द एटीनथ एंड नाइनटीन सेंचुरीज ट्रेवलर्स मिशनरीज एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स कलेक्टेड लार्ज पार्ट्स ऑफ डाटा यूज्ड इट इज ट्रू दैट सम ऑफ इट स्टिल फॉर्म्स द बेसिस ऑफ मच ऑफ सोशल थ्योरी especially those accounts that could never be duplicated as the situations societies and cultures depicted in them have since disappeared in the 19th century the vogue was on a pure scientific methodology or on nomothetic generalization since sociology is deemed to be a science of society it aspires to be nomothetic rather than ideographic the attempt of classical sociologist was thus to find the laws that make society run and the assumptions was that society too has an objective existence like all natural objects and like all natural objects it too follows the same laws and principles the assumption of society as a natural phenomena following laws of nature was to disassociate it from its earlier conceptualization as a divine entity following supernatural dictates however to make society an object capable of being subjected to scientific analysis another criteria of scientific analysis had to be fulfilled namely of ethical neutrality society and its norms had for long been entrenched within religion and cosmology so that most rules of society were viewed as divinely sanctioned rather than as a creation of humans like in saint tabus norms of femininity and masculinity etc a science of society has to proceed from the premise that all such rules and norms are variable and human made and therefore a science of society has to follow some principles of causality rather than of divine sanction in other words all aspect of society have a pur- purposive existence that can be explained rationally at this point let us here remind ourselves about what turner pointed out that study of society uses on the one hand formally theory with assumption concepts propositions and laws and in this sense is similar to natural science and as such it explores empirical data practices and institutions and tries to find casual and generalizable statements on the other hand many sociologist and anthropologist have argued that given the diversity and multiplicity of the social world it is not possible to develop generalizable and casual explanations they hold that sociology focus on observation of local action and interaction helps it to develop analysis of various social contexts irrespective of what which per perspective one accepts in turner's words social theory thrives and survives best when it is engaged with the empirical research and public issues as a matter of fact even the 19th century sociology was linked to a critical agenda towards the then social reality 
for example august comte was linked to programs of political action in the next lecture we will discuss about the topic logical understanding of social reality now let us wind up the session and take rest thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self learning podcast